some people are naturally better at learning certain things. Some people are naturally better at doing certain things. And for those of us that aren't so good at certain things, we have to work harder than people who are naturally talented. It is an unfortunate thing. I can think of plenty of things that I'm not very good at where I have to work harder than other people I know who tend to be better at those things. In this video, we're going to look at an email that I received from a subscriber here on the channel. This person is doing pretty well with the exception of one particular subject. So I'm going to start uh, this video by reading the email. And if you have any advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section. And I say that because when you leave comments, it helps other people because people all over the world read the comments. OK, I'm going to start by reading the email. I'll leave the person's name out of it. The subject is some general advice. Hi, I hope you're doing well. My name is, and I've been struggling with some concepts in chemistry. Despite putting in hours of practice and seeking clarification, I feel like I'm still not understanding the topics. I currently have a 60% grade, and I'm concerned about my performance. For some context, I believe I am smart and competent enough to do anything, and I also believe that you can learn anything through enough practice. I am in grade 11 right now, and part of my school's science program currently having a 95% in French, a 94% in English, a 90% in pre-calculus. In chemistry, however, I have a 60%. I've tried everything. I've redone all my practice questions, including all examples like you mentioned in one of your other videos. Good. I've shown up every day to class with two lates so far in four months. I do additional practice. I ask questions in class, but I just seem to never get anything that is taught. Today, I spent around four hours on 11 questions on a 30-minute review. I just feel as if I will never be successful in learning chemistry. I feel incredibly discouraged by the fact that others, my classmates, get high 90s in the class when they put in much less effort than me. I end up spending hours on just a few questions that others seem to breeze through, which has been really discouraging. Wow. For example, in another class, such as French, I only studied for two hours. When we were given two weeks for a test, yet I aced it. We're going to come back to this. I know this sounds like a rant, but I was hoping you could share some advice or tips on how to improve my understanding and study techniques. Thank you for your time and I look forward to hearing from you. Wow. So two things. First, let me say thank you for your message. Secondly, let me just commend you on an incredibly well-written email. So I get a lot of emails, and a lot of times when I read them, I, I correct them or I paraphrase. This one is very well-written, and you can tell it wasn't written by AI. This is this person, so thank you. So first, let me just say that it's okay to rant. And yes, this is a rant, and it is a healthy rant, and I am very happy you sent me this email. I do, have, I do have a lot of advice for you. Secondly, let me say that, let's, let's take this instance with French for a moment here. You only studied for two hours. You were given two weeks, yet you aced it. Let's practice what I don't practice, but what we should practice always, gratitude. You should be grateful <laughs> that you, you did well in French and, and you, you saved a lot of time. Now, that doesn't help you in chemistry, but uh, it's good to acknowledge the wins sometimes, my friend. And you have some wins. You have a win in French. You have a win in English. And you have a win in a, win in a math class pre-calculus, which is a hard class for a lot of people, right? And you are rocking it. Keep that A. Maintain that A. Try to, try to ace your next test so you can keep your A in that class. Focus on pre-calc too, okay? So for chemistry, you mentioned that you watched one of my other videos and you took the advice you did all the examples. So I just want to add one thing to that, and, and you probably already know this, but 
Are you doing those examples without looking at your notes? And chances are you're not because it's taking you so much time just to get through the problems, as you indicated, four hours on 11 questions on a 30 minute review. That's too much time. You're having to work extra hard, which I've been there. It happened to me in physics, it happened to me in biology, and you're just not getting it. So my advice at this point is one, make sure that you're, you get to that point where you can do everything cold and you're just not getting there because it's too hard, right? Two, go see your teacher, right? Go talk to them because everything else is working except chemistry and your friends are doing okay, but you're not. So it's you, right? It's probably you. It's probably something you're lacking from your background. It doesn't mean you're dumb. It doesn't mean you're stupid. Okay? It's happened to me. I've seen it happen to other students. It happened to me in physics. All my friends were getting A's. I was failing. I studied like crazy. I studied 10x of what they studied, okay? And I didn't do as well as they did. Fast forward, physics three, different teacher, different school. They struggled, I got an A, same subject. So just because you're struggling in chemistry now, doesn't mean you're going to struggle in the future. Sometimes the time is just not right. You're still young. You didn't mention, well, yeah, 11th grade. So you're in 11th grade. So you're still young. You still have your whole life ahead of you. If you don't make it, like if you go see your teacher, if they give you tips and you try and you fail, if you take my advice and it doesn't work, just know it's gonna be okay, my friend. And I mean that sincerely, it's gonna be okay because I've seen this. I've had students who took me for calculus, like Calc 2, which out of the three calculus classes, Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, Calc 2 is the hardest one. And I've had plenty of students in calculus, Calculus 2, Calculus 3, differential equations, who dread chemistry. Okay, they hate it. They hate it. They, they, they struggle with it. It is a battle. And they're failing. And sometimes they have to retake it and they'll pass, they'll barely pass and they'll get an A in my class. So it happens. Different people are naturally better at certain things. They naturally are drawn to certain things. Maybe for some reason you just don't like it. And I get it. I, I get it. I understand. I struggled with biology too. I, I didn't like it. I tried to make myself like it. Looking back, the me now would probably enjoy it, but the me back then, mm-mm, mm-mm. So, Another thing you should do is try. What I mean by that is, you know, take all this advice I'm giving you, right? Try to make sure you can do everything cold, go see your teacher, but do the best you can so that if you fail, like if this doesn't work out for you, at least you can look back and say you tried, you know? And I think that's, that's a good approach. I think there's hope for you, I, I really do. Um, the, the, what scares me um, is that I know it's hard. I know you have to read the problems and understand them and really like, it's, it's chemistry, it's not like math, it's a little bit different. And you're spending so much time already and you're trying to do everything and you're just not able to do it, right? So it's gonna be tough. Go see your teacher, see if they can give you some tips. Um, other things you can do, here's some other things you can do. One, get up every single morning and work on chemistry, right? Like I know you're busy, I know you're going to school and you have a full day, but if you can spend 20 minutes before you go to school, looking over your chemistry stuff every day, I think it's gonna make a big difference. I mean, just 20 minutes. You don't have to go crazy and spend an hour. I mean, you can, but you don't wanna stress yourself out too much. You've already got a lot on your plate. You have a full day of school every day, so you don't wanna like wear yourself out before you go to school. So maybe spend 20, 30 minutes every morning working on chemistry. Try that as well. And yeah, that, that, should, that should help. If anyone else has advice for this person, on this particular subject, chemistry, leave a comment in the comment section below. It's tough, it's tough when you're in school and you're doing well in all your classes except one. Go see your teacher, try harder, make sure you can do everything cold, get up early and think about it every day. Those are some tips that you can use. If anyone else has advice, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you wanna learn math, check out my courses, links are in the description. The key takeaway from this video should be that we all struggle at something. Right? Everyone struggles, 
And some of us struggle on certain topics. For many of you, it's math, right? And for many of you, it's not. At the end of the day, all we can do is try. Stay strong.